Hello, Kerry here. Today I'm going to be working in my uh, sketchbook, my 10 by 10 handbound one. I'm going to be trying some experiments today. I've got this acrylic wax um, and I want to find out what it looks like. I do like the effect of encaustic art. I used to do a lot of beeswax collages and I just wondered if I could replicate some of the, the warmth and texture of beeswax in acrylic painting so I'm doing experimentation I'm also using this uh, zinc white instead of titanium white zinc white is a little bit less opaque it has a little bit more transparency I'm giving it a good shape because it does separate I've noticed this with my system 3 acrylics is they do separate um, so it's always worth giving them a good old shake so you want all the medium to be mixed in so yes, I'm going to be trying the zinc white for transparency and also the acrylic wax today. And I'm going to be trying out some other experimentation as well. So I'm going to divide the, uh, I'm going to take this page out, move the sketchbook out of the way. I'm going to divide this page up into four squares and I'm going to try different things on each square. So I'm just using some masking tape to mask off these areas. And cover the holes as well just straighten that one up make sure it's even doesn't really matter does it just as long as I get different um, different experiment in each box and I'm just going in now with some uh, charcoal a chunky charcoal and now I'm going to use the zinc white and applying that to the paper not all over. This is heavy bodied uh, watercolor, heavy watercolor paper I'm using. And now I'm going over the charcoal. And, I can, and immediately I can see that it is more transparent than the titanium white. I can still see the charcoal marks through. I'm also going to experiment with a different color, different color scheme that I'm going to be putting into a larger painting at some stage. So I'm mixing up some deep purple. And I'm just going in with that at the moment. At the moment, I'm just getting some paint on. There's not too much experimentation going on at this stage. And I'm doing some blending now with the white. Tried it with my finger. It's still looking a bit rough at this stage, but that's okay. It takes a few layers with uh, acrylics. And now I'm going to have a little play with the acrylic wax. I'm going to apply it to various surfaces and see what it looks like and feels like. So I'm just using a fairly soft brush and I'm applying it to some thicker paper. See what happens with that. So that's some ordinary paper. And I'm applying it to some greaseproof paper on top of some paint and some charcoal drawing on that or Conti drawing on that. And we're going to try it on some dressmaking tissue, which I like to use in my collages. And I just wondered if this would give it a, a more transparent look. Uh, when it's wet, it looks quite see-through, but we'll see what it's like when it dries. Also, I'm blow <laughs> blowing it about with the hair dryer now, you can't see it. That's where everything's moving around. There we go. Um, I mean, it's shinier. <laughs> it doesn't really look any different. I don't know if it looks any more see-through. It might be a little bit. Oh, now I'm trying the, t uh, the greaseproof paper. And again, that's shinier. I think it might be a tad more transparent. But I'll leave that overnight to see what it's like in the morning. So now on one of the squares, I'm applying a layer. I've gone and overdone it, put too much on one layer of the acrylic wax. I'm just going to see what it's like uh, when I apply acrylic on top of it. And on this one, I'm just going to put a stripe across to see what that does. So now I'm looking at this paper that's dried and to be honest, it doesn't look a huge 
amount different. It's just a bit shinier. So I'm just going to give this a try and I'm going to do some more layers. Again with the zinc white. And you can see it is much more transparent than titanium. I knew that because um, when I'm working with oils, I quite like using mixing white, which is what zinc white is, with oil painting. And I just had forgotten to use it with my acrylic painting. And now I'm just uh, scratching in with my trusty stick. And I've noticed something different immediately with the square at the bottom right that I've applied the uh, acrylic wax. The marks I made with the stick are deeper. So it means the paint is softer. So I think what's happened is the uh, acrylic wax has absorbed into the acrylic paint and retarded it slightly. So now going in with some more layers. I've got a more... Um, darker purple here and that's fairly transparent so that's because it's ultramarine and crimson I think so I've added a bit of um, titanium white to make it more uh, op opaque making some marks at the back of the paintbrush Again, deeper indentations in that bottom right one. That's interesting. So I've mixed up a darker colour and with a paintbrush I'm going to be applying just some marks there. Now I'm going over again with some more of the zinc white and here you can see that it is a lot more transparent. You can still see some of the colour underneath. And I quite like that because it's giving a nicer transition. It's giving me more of the cloudy effect, a bit more sfumato, <laughs> uh, which is something I want to achieve in my art. So that's interesting. I shall be using the zinc white more. I've noticed on this bottom right hand corner that the paint has, well the paper has, begun, has bowed very very slightly whereas it hasn't happened in the rest of the paper so it's just that bottom right hand square so that means that it's absorbed into the paper which already has a layer of gesso on. So I think there's something kind of solventy. Um, I think there's a faint smell of some medical alcohol or something in it. So it's penetrated the paint, basically, which is very interesting. Now I'm going to go in with some oil pastels and see how they react. Just making some marks with a warmer yellow, which goes really nicely with the purple. Uh, again, I'm experimenting. I'm trying some with the warm yellow and some with the cool yellow. See which one I like best against this purple. So I'm just making some marks. And I think I like the warm yellow best. Although the uh, cool yellow does stand out better. So now I'm going in with some more of the zinc white. Making some marks with it as well. I 
I really do like this smoky effect. I've mixed a little bit of the um, raw sienna in with this, this layer. Testing to see if they were dry. With the zinc white is it's quite nice to build up the layers rather than just going in with one layer, which I would do normally with the titanium. That's all you need to do with the titanium, just so opaque. So now I'm going to experiment and I'm going to put some more coats of the acrylic wax. I'm going to do another coat on the bottom right hand corner one, which I'm doing now. And then I'm going to put another coat on, I'm going to put one coat, this is the first coat, on the bottom left hand side. I'm just going to see if they feel or react any differently through having one in the middle and one at the end. And now I'm going to apply some of the acrylic wax onto some of the tissue and I'm going to let that dry. I just want to uh, help quickly show you how beautiful, what a lovely sheen it has compared to the two ones at the top that I haven't got a layer on. It is really quite shiny and at this stage it feels kind of sticky. This is about an hour later and it still feels sticky. Um, the good thing is it seals in the oil pastels nicely but I'm going to leave it overnight and come back to it tomorrow morning and see what else I can experiment with. I'll say goodbye but I'm coming back. So here we are back again. This is the next morning. Um, it's all dry. I can still see the difference there and it's not sticky anymore. So that's, a, that's dried off properly. I've adhered a piece of paper with the acrylic wax there and I used ordinary PVA on the top one. And I can already see that's peeling away and it comes away so easily. So the acrylic wax is resisting the PVA glue, which is interesting. That's I've learned something there. But it doesn't peel away at the bottom where I've used just the acrylic wax to adhere it. So that was, an exper that was an interesting result. And I'm going to do another experiment. In this top left hand corner where I've had no acrylic wax on at all, I'm going to do a little experiment using um, the acrylic wax and I'm going to mix it with some zinc white and some raw sienna to replicate a honey effect that the beeswax that the, what I like from beeswax is you get this um, subtle, cloudy, honey colour. And I've gone and overdone it there. I've put too much zinc in. So I'm going to mix it, make it a bit more watery. And now I'm going to apply it on the left hand side and see what it looks like when it's dried. And in fact, I'm going to use the hairdryer to speed up the drying process. 
I'm trying it on this um, greaseproof paper as well. See what that looks like. So drying it with the hair dryer now. And I think it's too, it's got a bit streaky for a start. So I'm going to go over a, a second time, but uh, having the brush strokes going in the opposite direction. So that's something I need, I need to avoid. It's the streakiness, I don't want that. I mean, it's nice, but I think it's covering a little bit too well. I'll give it another blast with the hair dryer because it is, uh, it does um, go more transparent as it dries. But still, that's a bit too much to think white in that. So you can see the difference between one side and the next. So I'm going to try, you can see the difference on that. So I'm going to try another go but this time I'm going to have a lot less zinc white in the mix so it's just going to be the acrylic acrylic wax and just a bit of the zinc white and a bit of the raw sienna hardly any just a touch uh, put one coat on I'm going to put another coat on put it on the white paint white bit as well so I can see what it looks like there peel that off and now bring it up closer to the camera there, and you can see the difference now that is nice that's lovely I'm really pleased with that that does give it the honey glow so what I need to do is be very sparing when I add the zinc white and raw sienna that's gorgeous that's giving it that lovely warm glaze that I quite like with uh, actual beeswax collage So that's the end of my experimentation. I've enjoyed working on this uh, and I've enjoyed exploring a new medium to me. I love the sheen. That's beautiful. I like the fact it seals the oil pastels. That's worth doing. And I don't know if I mentioned, but it's not sticky anymore. I left it overnight and um, the two bottom ones aren't sticky. So that's the end of the experiment. Thanks for watching. Bye.